Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 33 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I didn't pay much for, made $35 or less on. When I say made, that's what I sold it for. So these items sold for $35 or less. These are my bread and butter bolos. These items sold faster on eBay. And there's one item I'm gonna share with you that I love selling, love it. Love it, love it. All right, we are gonna get started here. And let me get my screen share up. Oh my goodness. Screen share, where is it? <laughs> there it is. Okay, um, so I had these items cross posted to M Poshmark and Mercari. And these items sold faster on eBay. And again, these are easier to find items. Uh, I picked these up. Well, actually, these came in my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Huge, 344 pounds of jewelry. You can go check out that video. I sold these for $15.25 and the buyer paid shipping. And a lot of people say, don't put your hands in the video. But a lot of times I will do it to show a close up because I just feel like you can see more detail as opposed to this. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. What's your feedback on that? Let me know what you guys think. All right. The next item I sold is this Barbie. This is the Halloween Glow Barbie. She's um, new old stock from 2002. I picked her up at a garage sale with a bunch of Barbies. So I've got about $4 in her. And I took a best offer of 20 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think this is the second time I have sold this doll and both times I got it at a garage sale. The next item I sold is this Hallmark Harry Potter pewter ornament and it is pre-owned and again you can see there and then i put it in my hand like this and what you guys is feedback on that keep your hands out of the video or out of the video out of the picture or what i i don't know i kind of like it i think it shows detail better so let me know what you guys think down below i'm really curious um this one came out of a mystery box i took a best offer of 18 dollars, and the buyer paid shipping the next item I came from a garage sale, I believe is around 50 cents. And I took a best offer of $35 for her. She is the Mattel 1988 Cherry Mary Muffin Peach Perfection doll. She is rare and hard to find. You can see her hair is kind of a mess and she still went for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Little People Play and Go Castle. It's a take along set with the knight and the dragon. I picked this up at a garage sale for $3 and I sold it for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, okay, you guys, this guy, like you're looking at it and you're like, hmm, I have no idea how big that is, right? Look how tiny it is. It's so tiny. And I do use um, a measuring tape just to show, but look at it. He's just a little guy. And I looked him up. I just, I've sold um, things like this before like that are shaped like this. And I'm like, I'm gonna look that up. And I sold it for $17.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This was an item that I auctioned because I wasn't 100% sure of its value. The next item I sold, um, and that one I came from a garage sale. It was in a tote of toys that I've been putting off and I finally listed it. This is a vintage Barbie stormy weather yellow coat. The Barbie is not included. It is just the outfit. I just used this Barbie without a head for display. And I sold this for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. This came in a bulk lot of Barbie items I picked up. This one came out of a mystery box. It's Kelly Club. It's uh, Kelly and Tommy. And I sold this for $15.83 and the buyer paid shipping. So they're just like little Barbie Kelly dolls and they're ornaments and they're super cute and they sold super fast. The next item I sold is this Hallmark keepsake ornament. It's Star Wars Death Star Magic. It's got light and sound. I sold it for $23 and this also came out of a mystery box and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage sale. It was new old stock cologne. I like selling colognes and perfumes, bread and butter, big money. I don't care. I just like listing them. They're easy. Um, I sold this for $17 and 59 cents and the buyer paid shipping and it was like 50 cents. Okay. I love selling these items. Angels. They're like carta pesta, paper mache, stiffened fabric. I'm really not even sure what it is, but 
one of those words is good. So um, I sold this gal for 20 and I sold this one for 20 as well to the same person. So they bought both of them for 40 and then I did combined shipping of $5. Um, I paid 50 cents each for these at a garage sale. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's them. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I get them all the time. So I think this was a garage sale. The next item I sold are the, uh, it's a cat's meow. And I picked up a ton of cat's meow for $30. And when I say a ton, like hundreds, hundreds. And I sold this one for $19.35 and the buyer paid shipping. With cat's meow, the items are hit and miss, mostly bread and butter, easy to list. Um, I mean, I wouldn't pay two or three dollars for them unless you look up comps and it has a good comp. Like I sold one for $28. But you know, most of them are 10, $15 range, some even a little bit less. I lot the ones that are not as valuable up in lots. Like I sold a big lot for, gosh, I think it went for like a hundred bucks, but it was a whole bunch of them. So um, don't watch this and think every cat's meow is a home run. You know, it's, I don't know. If it were me, I would pay like 25 cents, maybe 50 cents each, um, but I'm really cheap. So <laughs> And they're more of a long tail item. I mean, I'm selling them consistently throughout the month, but you know, I don't know. I, I'm sitting on a lot of them. Let's put it that way. All right. The next item I sold is this New York Yankees girls, a lovey security blanket, new with tags. I picked this up at a thrift store for 75 cents. It sold for $30 and 79 cents. They opened a return saying that they thought it was a full size blanket. Um, I did not put the dimensions in, so I guess that's kind of my fault, but it does say lovey security blanket. So what do you guys think? I mean, I definitely should have probably put the dimensions, but would you think that that was a full size blanket? Anyway, they never returned it. I don't know if it was like somebody hoping that I would just be like, oh, just keep it. Don't worry about it. But they never returned it. So the next item I sold are these clip clop horses. These are little people and they are adorable. They like clip clop back and forth. I always pick them up at garage sales. They're always great bread and butter. They do really well. They usually sell pretty quickly. Um, these sold for $22. I picked them up at a garage sale for a buck and the buyer paid shipping. This is a jelly kitten, not jelly cat, jelly kitten. I think it's the same like person makes them, but this one's maybe for babies. I don't know, but it's a plush bunny rabbit. It's like a lovey baby toy. It's super, super cute. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $17 and 59 cents in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Build-A-Bear game day snacks. I picked this up at a garage sale and a bulk lot of Build-A-Bear stuff. I sold it for $20 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage GI Joe Cobra. Commander, I don't know, it's from 1993. I used Google Lens to figure out who he was. He sold for $14.99, the buyer paid shipping. He was in a tote of toys that I've had in my basement for at least a year. <laughs> the next item is another one of those toys that was just sitting in that box or that tote. So this one, I actually, I think I had an offer. It was an auction for like $26 and I didn't take it. And I was hoping it was gonna be like a rare toy and it was gonna get a bunch of bids. Well, I should have took the $26 because it sold for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. That's okay, I probably had like 25 cents in it. So I'm good with that, but man. All right, um, the next item I sold is this vintage angel tree topper, which I think is amazing. It's made in Japan. I love made in Japan stuff. Um, I do have a Bolo category video on items made in Japan to look for, but look how sweet and cute this is. I mean, look at that face. It is so cute. I probably should have kept this just because I think it's so cool. And it works. It works. Um, sold it for $34. It was in a mystery box and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is are these Boyd's Bears. They took forever to sell. Um, I love selling Boyd's Bear plush. It's usually long tail. These are also long tail. I'm not as big of a fan with the figures, but um, these did sell for $29.74. I got them at a garage sale. The buyer paid shipping. I don't remember what I paid for them. It was kind of like a bunch of them that I bought. So I'm going to stick with the plush, <laughs> but I do have some that I got in a mystery box that I will be listing because 
I know I can sell them. I just have to price them right. The next item I sold, I, you know, when you buy something, you're like, why'd I buy that? This is kind of one of those. It took a little while to sell. Um, it's a fish flatware set and it's 14. Let's see. Sold for 20 and I picked it up at a thrift store for $4 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Lennox Santa and Miss Claus kissing salt and pepper shakers. I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar and sold it for $14 and 44 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item. Okay. Good story. Um, first off, shout out to primetime treasure hunter YouTube channel. He's awesome. There's a link down in the description. So he has this amazing Facebook group and from time to time, like he'll do like, things where he'll make a post and then everybody can post something. And I think this post was, um, post an item that you regret buying or that you've had forever and it just won't sell. <laughs> and this guy was his post. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take that off his hands. I think I can sell that. And this was a super long tail item. I have to admit that, but I paid, um, $10 free shipping for it. And it took me over a year to sell, but I sold it for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. So just a fun little story. And I kind of did it because I was like, I know I can resell it. I can put it in a video when I do resell it. But I remember thinking a while back, is that popcorn guy ever going to sell? Oh my gosh. But anyway, so just a cute story. Definitely go check out Primetime Treasure Hunter. He has an awesome reseller channel and the link is down below. The next item are these vintage Disney Pixar cars, micro drifter rollers. And I think ah, these might've been a garage sale find. And I sold them for $25 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. They have these little like marble looking things on the bottom. I'm not really sure what they do, but I was able to identify them as micro drifters. So if that helps anyone. The next item I sold is this Swan Lake Barbie. I sold her for $29.74 and the buyer paid the shipping and I paid $4 for her at a garage sale. The next item I sold are these Lion King Burger King figures. Um, I sold these for $12.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, probably at a garage sale. Burger King, Happy Meal Toys. Guys, they do sell, they're mostly bread and butter. I do have a... Um, bolo category video on happy meal toys to look for so definitely go check that out some of them might surprise you um but definitely look up comps and these that are like uh movie or tv themed people will buy them so yeah 12.75 plus shipping the next item i sold i picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents i sold it for 25 dollars, and the buyer paid shipping it's got like a little storybook and it is new with tags so it's new old stock Super cute on the overalls. And the next item I sold is this belt buckle. I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember what I paid for it. Um, I've got that I paid a quarter for it. So maybe I put it in the notes, but I don't know. Uh, I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Nylant jet ski. It's a plastic vintage toy. This Nylant brand, I seem to do pretty well with. Um, so I don't know if people collect it or if I've just gotten lucky, but this sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think that might've been in a mystery box. I can't remember. It may have been a garage sale. The next item I sold is this little vintage Santa Claus. He's probably made in Japan, but he wasn't marked. Um, I sold him for $11 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping and probably a garage sale. The next item sold really, really fast. It actually surprised me. It's an Aurora uh, Skylar Fairy plush doll. And I picked her up in a mystery box and she sold for $15.30 and the buyer paid shipping. The last item is this Bratz Boy doll. And his name's Cameron. He's from the Bratz Boys collection. He's new in the package. I paid $5 for him at a garage sale and he sold for $29.74 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There should be some videos popping up. Check out another video if you're new to the channel. Drop me a comment. Um, it helps me in the algorithm. I appreciate it very much. Um, hit that like button, that thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the
Ah, yeah, bye, bye. See you at the next video. Oh.